What's up? It's your girl, Solo Herself, aka Solo Game Mondo. You know what the fuck going on. So, I'm back with another video. And today, as y'all can see, I'm focusing on Halloween. Yeah, I'm getting started kind of late, but that's okay. As long as you get started and never give up. You know, you just keep going. If you didn't start at the right time, then start whenever you can. So, that's what I'm doing now. I did, I don't want to say I really didn't get started, but... I'm kind of slacking on posting the stuff that I made. So, I made an orange bean. It's not, it's not all the way done yet. Right now, y'all, I wanted to show y'all my orange bean. I made this. It's made out of super chunky yarn. It's called an everyday beanie. And you going to want one of these. If you see it on somebody else and it's sold out already, you're going to be mad. So, you might as well get it now. Y'all, it's kind of cute. It looks like it's like floating or something. But this, this is the orange beanie. So, y'all, I'm testing out this wig, right? And I like it. It's cool. But I think I'm going to try another company for my wig. So, if y'all been following me, then you know that I got a hair company. And I just started to sell raw hair now. This is not for my raw hair company. But it's going to be called... She like it raw. Well, yeah, she like it raw. So yeah, I'm on my way to pick up my oldest daughter right now. Um, she's getting out of school, and, and then I'm gonna head back so that I can show you the rest of the colors of the beanies. When I get back, I am gonna be sewing in loose ends so that I can really, really get my stuff ready for Amazon. I should be able to ship. I'm hoping by Monday, at least most of the size i'm not even done yet three of each beanie i don't know why i thought i could complete it so fast i should have gave myself a little more time i guess i thought i was speedy gonzalez that's what's really holding me back it comes in multiple sizes but i do want to get a lot of my knit products and crochet products on the amazon so i am going to send in some scarves because the scarves come in one size and then i could just do multiple colors and have them ready like right now i am working on different colors different sizes and i don't want to like drain my creativity like i want to still be creative still do what i gotta do and get shit done so the everyday beanie is gonna be listed on amazon i know i keep on mentioning yeah, baby. i know i keep on mentioning amazon i am still gonna use my personal website but for right now i'm just gonna focus on amazon because Oh, so I was live on TikTok. You're showing you and everything else. Okay. I was live on TikTok last night for the first time ever. And it went really good. I did get new followers. Three. That's something to celebrate. Okay. Check me out now. Yeah. Um. So I am going to start going live more on TikTok. I am going to start posting more on TikTok. That's why I'm doing a lot of different content. And right now I'm bringing to y'all my halloween content even though like selling for halloween i'm kind of repeating myself y'all but bear with me it's probably like a little bit over with but because i don't just focus on halloween like i'm not putting pumpkins and stuff on my orange and black hats i still can bring awareness to what i'm selling and the hat's gonna come in orange black two different greens pink a purplish color a cream a cream with glitter sparkles yeah that's right a green with sparkles and i'm just gonna start excuse me i'm just gonna start posting a whole bunch of content like it's nowhere but up from here y'all wanted to see me and i'm here and if you didn't want to see me i'm still here anyways <laughs> yeah i've been using tiktok more and i actually like tiktok um, I did go live on TikTok yesterday, and I did get new followers, so that's a good thing. I also liked how I can advertise a product from my TikTok shop on there. And if you've seen my other short or reel or wherever you've seen this at, I did tell y'all how I was doing a giveaway. Um, I think because I'm new to, like, trying to go live not that many people were responding to the giveaway so i didn't have to give away anything which is good for me and bad for y'all so 
if you want to see me going live often go to my tiktok and i am going to start going live on youtube i want to get an extra phone so i can go live everywhere at the same time and i don't have to like get off one live and then go do another live and do another live i want to be able to show everything that i'm doing all at once to everybody i did open up a tiktok shop i do sell on amazon i am starting to sell on walmart so i got a lot of stuff going on and while i'm having a lot of stuff going on i'm not gonna like slow down no more i'm gonna keep a steady pace and i'm gonna do everything i gotta do every day so i can get everything done on each platform i am on tiktok I, now the tiktok shop is really interesting i actually do like the tiktok shop because i'm able to make my product post on there and then i just copy the different stuff that i wrote on there and put on the amazon listing and i did it one time which was really cool for a product and i'm gonna show you in front of me and i like doing it that way so i think first i'm gonna do the product listing on tiktok shop then i'm gonna copy it on amazon and i haven't got to the point where i'm posting yet on walmart but everything is gonna be for sale everywhere mark my words i am a woman of my word next it's time to start making my scarves and i did design the warm and wealthy collection the warm and wealthy collection is for a person who wants to keep warm and it's wealthy because my hats are going to be $70 and my scarf should be around $120. But pricing right now, I have the everyday beanie for $50. Um, I'm really thinking about the prices. I really want to do it higher than that. I really want my beanies to be $200. But I'm going to start off at a reasonable price. And I don't know when I'm going to make the price go up. But I do know that the price is going up. The price will not be low. If you want to know if starting a crochet business is good for you, you really have to ask yourself that. Like, you can't be asking people questions that you need to ask yourself. You need to find out in your soul do you think it's a good idea? Because if you're not, the biggest thing with handmade stuff is it says, you know, most people say it's handmade out of love. So if you're not doing it with love, it's like cooking. If you're not cooking out of love, it's not going to come out right. Like if you're doing it just to make some money, you might need to do something else because you have to hand make everything with love. So if you are hand making with love, then I would say, yeah, start a crochet business. But if not, I don't know what to tell you. That's something you got to tell yourself. So y'all, I'm back and this is the purple beanie. So y'all can see I need to sew in the ends, but... I'm trying to show y'all, like, how the beanie is and everything. When I fold up the beanie, it's like that. It's pretty thick, so I think it's more on the winter side. But it's well worth your money. It's handmade. Look at the details on this, okay? I really went deep into the design of this. Um, I gave it a cute length fold. So, if you fold it, it's the right amount the right amount of fold and it's really chunky i'm telling you the streets don't love it streetwear the orange color is really just super cute i had to stop and show y'all how cute and adorable it is now it's time to buckle down and really think about the pictures i'm gonna take i've been doing a lot of videos because it's easier for me to get videos of my adorable everyday beanie hats but it's harder to get pictures so that's what's coming up next the yarn colors I picked out are so cool. I really like this yarn because it's super chunky and it gives a great look. And the ones that's lighter in weight, I'll be using for baby hats. Like this video, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe.